that's uh, needless to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how much will the game plan have to change if Riley can't go? Um, not a lot. Uh, you know, James obviously won't be as much, uh, you know, movement and quarterback run game stuff, but um, it's all there in the event that Riley can play, and then we'll, we'll just make a decision. I, I Hopefully we can make that decision here pretty quick. That's what I'm hoping. As quick as tomorrow? Yeah, I'd like to. I don't know if. I don't know if uh, the doctors or coach will be prepared to make that decision, but for, for James's mindset, I'd like for him to be able to know a couple days in advance. My first start, I think Coach Edwards told me Wednesday before, before the game, and it was nice to know a couple days in advance. Does uh, Riley really need to practice to start, or if he's okay game time? Uh, he, he um, I think he could probably practice today, yeah. but he's. Uh, I don't know that he needs to come out here right now try and fight through some of the pain he's in and after all that we've been through at this point I, uh, it was better for him to just stay off in these two days and he may come out and see if he can throw it tomorrow and that's when we'll decide it, it seems like New Mexico State's defense is, is lacking somewhat this year I mean do you, do you feel like you're going to be able to move the football kind of regardless of who the quarterback is you know I, I would say yeah I hope we could um, but we've been a little up and down so um, I'd like to see us have a consistent week of practice, and I'd like to see us have a consistent game. Um, and uh, whether we move it or have you know, great success, I, as long as we're consistent and secure the football, um, I'll feel like it was a successful Saturday. Rightly or wrongly, Riley's taken a lot of blame for yeah. what went down in San Jose. Yeah. Is that justified blame, or where would you kind of Well, that? Uh, Riley's quarterback at BYU and uh, whether it's whether it's rightly or not and, and justified it's part of the it's part of the job and he understands that um, and probably more so now than than he ever has or ever will be able to recognize the, the magnitude of that job and so um, but um, he shouldn't take all the blame no way should he take all the blame for that game there was a, uh, a lot of other factors that caused that that loss to occur, and it certainly wasn't all because of Riley. You've held the mantle of quarterback here at BYU. You know what the pressures are like. You've been a, kind of been able to be a that consulting crush to try and say, hey, you know, this is kind of what it's like here, you know. And well, <clears throat> it's been a hard year for everybody. It's been a hard year for, our, for the coaches, for me, and, and everybody collectively. So we're. Um, it's been it's been a neat experience to come together with these players because they could have easily started pointing fingers and, and uh, lost trust and, and and I'm sure that that's, that can waver and has wavered uh, but for the quarterbacks and particularly Riley uh, we've had some unique experiences together this year in, in relation to just coming through and fighting through some injury uh, that will serve him forever uh, throughout his life and, uh, he'll look back at those and, and realize it was a blessing in disguise for him to, to overcome some battles that he needed to and, uh, we'll overcome We'll overcome the season. I've asked Riley actually what he thinks his legacy will be here, and he says it really doesn't matter what he thinks. Other people are going to yeah. make that decision. When yeah. you look at what he's done here, what do you think his legacy will be? Probably the most um, tenacious, competitive uh, guy I've been around yet in eight years. Um, and to know what he's battled through physically, um, you know, we don't go into detail on that stuff because we can't. Um, but um, he he was on the sideline right before our two-minute drive, and with a pretty significant injury, and um, and it, all of a sudden we got the the doctor sitting there checking it out, and all of a sudden the extra whatever that that our onside. Hey, our onside kick happened, and he grabbed his helmet, and took off running. And the doctor wasn't even sure quite yet what was wrong, and he came running to me, said, "I'm not <laughs> sure, but he's in a lot of pain," um, and he went out and fought all the way to the end until someone smacked him right in the place he was hurt and uh, it, that's a testament to the to the young man. I, I'll say this uh, when you get knocked down you have to choose to get up and uh, he has gotten up every single time and I've been around some quarterbacks or players or people that don't get up off the ground and he got up every time and um, I'll love him for that forever for, for being tenacious that way and never Quitting. Um, and that's Paul. Remember. Thanks. 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 Thanks.